Mike Zero, Juliet Charlie Fox. Yes, Mexico Zero, Japan Charlie Fox. That's Mike Zero, Juliet Charlie Fox. Very good evening, Vic, and uh, nice to meet you. It's been a very long time since I last spoke to you. So back to you, LZ7CWM0JCF. LZ7CW, M0JCF. Well, very good evening, Vic. My name is Mark. That's Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo. And uh, the QTH is in Sid Cup in Kent. That's uh, Sierra India Delta, Charlie Uniform Papa. Uh, locator for that is Juliet Oscar 01 Bravo Kilo. And um, I think the last time we worked, I might have been 2 Echo Zero Echo Romeo X-Ray, or possibly it was my M6 call sign. I think um, that was M6 LJX, I think. Yeah, I think it was M6 LJX. It's been a long time since I used that. But uh, I don't know that I've worked you as an M0, and I've had my M0. It'll be uh, two years in... Um, uh, November. So yeah, we haven't worked for a long time and uh, we certainly haven't worked uh, this year and I don't think we worked last year. Well, we couldn't have done because uh, as I say, you would have had my call sign uh, somewhere stashed away, I'm sure. But um, I've heard you quite a few times and you're always very good to me. So your report tonight, you're peaking 5 and 9 plus 20. So that's 5 and 9 plus 20 and with the QSB dropping you very, very low to 5 and 9 plus 10 there you go but tonight uh, Vic I'm using an old um, uh, Trio Tango Sierra 520 Sierra uh, hybrid um, uh, analog radio so it hasn't even got a digital display on it and um, I'm running about I think a peaking about 100 watts and uh, that's going into a 90 foot long wire so a real simple um, antenna there Vic uh, that's the story this end old chat um, LZ7 CW M0 JCF Oh, that was that 7 cwm 0 jcf No, I'm not a Vic. I'm using an old Pi microphone. So probably the microphone's older than the radio. This radio's got to be about 1980. The S model uh, was the one, or the 520S was the one with 160 metres. So uh, the TS520 just does 10 to 80 metres, and the S model does um, uh, 10 to uh, 100 uh, 160 metres and um, of course it's only CW and SSB there's no AM or anything like that on it either but no, it's um, it's a lovely old girl. I paid 150 quid for it about uh, about three months or more. Um, it wasn't working that well when I got it. Cost me another 30 quid for an alignment. 
uh, needed a couple of uh, diodes in the detector stage and um, it needed um, uh, some capacitors as well. Uh, the ALC is a little bit um, squiffy on it. Uh, sometimes the uh, sometimes the ALC uh, works, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, when you switch it off, it's absolutely stonking loud. Um, on fast and, and slow, uh, sometimes it will give me a reading on the S meter, sometimes it won't. But uh, tonight it's playing ball. Um, and the RF attenuator on it. Sometimes I have to um, hook that up if there's a bit of QR Mexico, etc. Um, somebody in somewhere in my house, we've got some halogen lights. They've just turned those on in the kitchen and uh, the transformer uh, gives me a bit of noise and I know that they've just switched that on on your last over but um, I'm not going to worry about going in there and asking them to turn them off because, uh, as I say, your, your signal's so good anyway. But that's the story this end with the radio, etc., there uh, Vic but uh, answering your question sorry it was a really long answer wasn't it to a short answer what should have been um, uh, a short answer no I'm using an old Pi microphone um, it came with the radio and it works so well that I just don't want to change anything back to you Somehow seems to hold its uh, looks very nice. And 
LZ7CW. Well, do you know what, uh, Vic? I've always wanted, ever since the 1980s, I've always wanted a TS830. And you know, there was always out of my price range back then. And then, of course, I was out of radio for many years, uh, at least for, you know, from the, the amateur side. And then uh, when I got back into it, sort of five, six years ago, I started looking around and thinking, oh, I remember them, the 830s. And uh, they were still sort of... Uh, yeah, quite quite a high price for you know for the age and that so you know i got back into the am radio and um i've had oh, i've had quite a few um, um ft 757 gx's that sort of thing and uh i mean the latest radio that i've got that's a lovely radio is a kenwood uh, ts 590s uh, that's up in my loft this uh, rig is down in my garage um it allows me to do a bit of late night operating and um, early morning operating without disturbing everything one by uh, clambering around in the loft but uh you know i've got eight kenwoods uh and uh, i do like a kenwood but um i also like my old gear as i say um I, you know i've been on the lookout for an 830 but you know what they're getting now to the prices of um a modern second hand rig such as like a, i know a, a ts 450s or something like that you know quite a relatively up to date 25 year old radio and I mean, that they want more than that. And what it is, is obviously they're becoming collectible now. We've gone through the, these are brand new, um, you can't afford them, to the point of, you know, these are old, no one wants them. But now we've come to nostalgia and collectible and uh, that sort of thing. And and I've noticed that I was so lucky with this one. Um, it, was so, it was sold to me as perfectly working. And of course it wasn't, but I only paid 150 quid for it. Um, I've got a spare brand new in-box valve. I mean, really, a match pair would have been better. But, you know, you, you take what you can. I mean, all for the price. You know, I've got a brand new valve. Uh, and then uh, it was a case of, you know, well, it's not working that well. As I say, I had a few quirky things. And um, so uh, what, what it is with me is I like to repair and restore and homebrew, but uh, this one, yeah, I've had a couple of goes, and I just wasn't getting anywhere, and my test gear isn't what it used to be, you know, I've got quite hobbyist test gear now, with signal generators, both RF and um, uh, audio, you know, and I've got the multimeters and a small oscilloscope, that sort of thing, but you know, it was one of those things, that I didn't want to poke around too much, and um, break something, so I gave it to um, uh, a well-known local engineer i say local he's um he's down in gillingham in kent and um i took it to him and what he does is um he gives you an evaluation and he, he normally he'll go for like 50 quid plus parts but because um, me and a few others were always throwing work at him, um, he charged me 30 quid, including parts. So I was really, really happy with that. I mean, it was diodes and capacitors, and they weren't big values of, of capacitors. So, that, you know, it wasn't going to be that expensive in parts. But, you know, because he's done some other work for me fairly recently, just, oh, this one's 30 quid, you know. So I was really, really pleased with that. And I've been using this rig now for quite some weeks. Um, it's got to be so, eight, ten weeks something like that and um i'm loving it to bits you know it's uh, i think all this stuff's got to be kept out the landfill but um i can see the prices going up you know and uh, on the various social media pages and that and um, i've got a youtube channel that i put these videos on by the way i'm videoing this um i do put these videos on the youtube channel and um yeah i, I get lots of well i say lots i get comments basically saying you know i've got one of these you know and i think we'll get it out the box get it out from under the table get it out from the garage the shed wherever start using it because you know standing there doing nothing is the worst thing for these old radios especially valve radios and um you know it, at the end of the day it, it, what'll happen is that they end up with something that's sort of almost worthless because by not using it they've ruined it um you know they, these things need to be used but of course they don't want to use them you know people want easy um easy switch on 
look at the frequency, pick up the microphone, start transmitting. With these, they need a little bit of setup, don't they? Um, I'm sure you know. You know, you've got to before you start transmitting, you've got to set up um, uh, the transmitter side because you don't want to be wrecking stuff. And likewise, you know, the the receive side. I'm a bit lazy on that. You you, you can calibrate using a 25 kilohertz markers. Um, I don't do it as often as I should. But you know, it's it's a great radio, Vic, and um, I, I really do like it. And sitting on top of it, another old dinosaur. I've got a TR7200G two meter FM radio. I've got that sitting on there, as I say, one of the many old Kenwoods that I've got. So uh, that's the uh, that's the story there, um, uh, Vic. So uh, back to you, LZ7 CW M0 JCF. M0 JCF LZ7 CW. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we just get used to these modern radios now. I've got a I've got a few old ones. I've got a Fox Tango 200 with a separate power supply. Can you remember that? And it, it's got 18 valves in there, 18 valves. You, you need at least two or three fans on it to keep one particular valve, but they're very, very rare of, of it. It seems to glow like like a heater lamp, you know? But I've got good audio reports, and, uh, it, yeah, and it sounded a million dollars. <coughs> but that, 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 there's something went wrong with that, you know? Um, it, it, you've got a... It's like a car, you've either got to do your own mechanic or take it into a shop for, for the maintenance, for repairs and things. But if you, if you can't find someone to do it, well, you know, but I, I've still got it. It's still in the box. I've not un, even unpacked it. I've not even looked at it since I came to Bulgaria, you know. But I, I saw a modern, a more modern a radio than yours, the, the Fox Tango. Seven four seven. Can you remember that echo radio? I think it was a plastic case. Seven four seven. A guy gave me a call last week on his seven four seven, and he sounded a million dollars. I couldn't believe it. You know, the original microphone. But I saw one. Um, maybe also last week. I can't believe this as well. And it was for sale on eBay. It was still in the box. Still in the box. You know, brand spanking new with the uh, inserts and everything like that. I looked at the finished, uh, the finished auction. I, if I'd have been in the UK, I might have bid on it myself. You know, brand spanking new in the box with, with everything with it. Never been used ever, ever before. 255 quid it went for, Mark. A 747. <laughs> I can't believe it, can you? Oh dear. Anyway, it's been nice to uh, to catch up again with you. We don't leave you so long next time. But I'm going to give a few more reports back if you don't mind. We could we could rub it on all night, but I'm sure there's a few guys out there, maybe ladies as well, want to want to report from me. I hope there is. And uh, but do you stay you uh, you take care and stay safe. All the best for now, Mark and Zero JCM. Yeah, LZ7CW. Well, you know, Vic, the pleasure was all mine. Um, uh, it was lovely speaking to you again. And you're right, we could wrap it on forever. Uh, just to a final answer for you. Yeah, 747, I do know the radio. Never owned one. Um, never used one, but I have seen one. I've seen one in somebody's possession. And I was tempted to buy it. Now, the 757GX, um, the, the bigger brother, I've had three or four of those. And um, they're a lovely, lovely radio, and I've got no reason to suspect that the 747 isn't as nice. But the 747, uh, whenever they come up cheap, I always tend to buy them, use them for a few weeks, few months, and then uh, move them on. But uh, that will be a story for another time. I'll let you go off now and uh, grab some more reports there, Vic. And uh, yeah, I will jump in. It's just that uh, whenever um, whenever you're, uh, I hear you, you're always in full flight with something. 
one, just like we've been tonight. We're just approaching 20 minutes on this one. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's always, you know, shall I jump in or not? And I think, so. no, you know, you're in full flight. I'll let you carry on. So uh, before I wrap it on too far, I wish you best 73 there, Vic. Uh, look forward to catching up with you again in the near future. You take care. You also be safe. And um, uh, until the next time, bye-bye for now. Big 73 to you, mate. And uh, catch you later. LZ7CW, this is M0. JCF uh, wishing you a good evening and uh, thank you again. Bye bye for now. We're clear. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Seven three. Good night. Thank you. Lima Zulu Seven Charlie Whiskey.